back with you. I, I like this, this music. music. Gosh, I've missed you. I missed you. Okay, so Bastille Day is a big deal. It's celebrated every July 14th. And you know our viewers, right? And you know, certainly, one of our favorite things to do on Houston Life is to highlight local Houstonians making a difference. One of our newest residents in Houston happens to be the Consul General of France. Courtney, this was so cool. Earlier today, she welcomed me into her home, which is the consulate, the home of France, uh, there on Kirby Drive. She had a lovely garden party party ahead of a big celebration happening tonight. The room was packed. There were great remarks, great art in that house as well. But here's the thing. Uh, Valerie Barbaron, the Consul General of France, she was kind enough to sit down with us before tonight's big event. Madam Consul General, thank you so much for having us in your home, the home of France here in Houston. And I know last August is when you took this role. What attracted you to Houston? Really, I wanted to come to Houston, to the south part of the United States, because I had the intuition that it's a, a place where there is a lot of economic and demographic growth. Let's talk about your family, yes. because along with this huge job and role you have here in Houston. Your husband, Lionel, you have three children, 17, 14, 11 years old. What has their response been moving to Houston? <laughs> for me, the most important thing for me to succeed is to embrace this life with my family and to make sure that everybody will be very happy to, to, to live this chapter. So when I, I propose Houston, um, you know, the children, they are always a little bit reluctant. But I have to confess that they enjoyed so much their first year here. My daughter graduated from the high school and she has been accepted to Rice University. Fantastic. She wants to, to study aerospace, so really this is the place to be. And my youngest goes to the public school nearby and he, he starts learning English. He enjoys it very much, so we are all very happy. It sounds like you were attracted to the diversity and the opportunity that is here in Ex Texas. Exactly. There is such a huge diversity, but also in the different technological sectors, economic sectors, space exploration, which is blooming. This is the second period of space exploration, energy transition, of course, and also uh, healthcare. During the pandemic, it's a huge issue. Digital transformation. We see big companies moving from California to, to Texas. So these companies will provide also a big change. We can assume that. Let's talk about your road to becoming Consul General of France here in Houston. As a little girl, you were raised in France. Yes, indeed. And how does one end up in a role like this? You've had quite an impressive career. You know what? Um, I had to find my way. I had a first uh, career uh, as teacher, professor of philosophy, but uh, for four years I really was attracted by public policy and uh, world affairs. So that's why I, I, start I started teaching in California because I wanted to have this international experience. But at some point, I was 30 years uh, old, I said I, I, I want to change and now to become a diplomat because that will really uh, combine uh, thinking and action because what I like, my two main personal triggers are action and thinking together. I like to, to, to be really active and as a diplomat you have to deal with the crisis, you have to, to make decisions, to take care of people, to enter into relationships, but also you have to develop your personal understanding of the people, of the host country, and this is something which really uh, fascinates me. This is the most beautiful profession, I think. You have some specific goals during your time in Houston, and it's important for you to increase France's footprint yes. here in Houston. What does that mean? Yes. Mm, my starting, starting point is that I think the South, and Texas in particular, is subject of stereotypes, and France in Texas is not as well known as it could be. So my first goal is really to provide a better understanding, reciprocal understanding of what Texas is and what France is. Really the Texas Triangle I think is the, the place I, I really need to, to project a better picture of France in order to foster the cooperation. 
the Texas Triangle, Austin, Houston, Dallas. Oh. Madam Consul General, thank you so much for having thank us you, in your home. Happy Bastille Day. Congratulations to you on all your success and thanks once again for your time today. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you. She really is so lovely and it's so cool when you meet people who are new to Houston mm -hmm. and hearing their stories about what they're exploring and what they're doing and it's incredible she's been here with her family her husband and three kids less than a year and they already have so many friends it's so cool also to get this introduction to her I've driven by that house multiple times and always wondered who's living there but it's also great to hear how her children and the rest of her family has really adjusted to Houston and you know hearing about their schooling and congratulations on getting accepted to rice and all the things so I feel like we're all besties now. Yeah, well, and they speak French, English, and Chinese because they lived in China for a while Fantastic. as well. So, hey, if you're wondering how you can celebrate Bastille Day, there are so many ways you can do that around Houston. For more info, you can visit our website, click to Houston.com. There is a long, long list and certainly a huge French influence here in our city. Suddenly, I want a croissant. Oh, me too. I know. A chocolate croissant, maybe. Can we work on that? We can.